Masturbation is one of those topics that tends to stay quite literally behind closed doors. Even though it's a completely normal and healthy sexual activity, we often shy away from discussing it openly, treating it like a taboo subject. In this video, we'd like to tackle some of the questions you might have but feel too uncomfortable to ask. So, if you're curious about how masturbation impacts your emotions, relationships, and overall well-being, stick around and keep watching. Quick disclaimer, we know we've explored the darker aspects of masturbation in previous videos, especially the ones related to sex and porn addictions. While this one presents it more positively, it's important to remember that it's not just all good or all bad. The subject depends on how you frame it, and we aim to find that balance. With that said, let's get started. Number 1. The Dark Side of Pleasure Masturbation is often seen as a path to relaxation and pleasure, but for some, it can lead to unexpected feelings of guilt. In psychological research, this is referred to as ego dystonic masturbation. Ever felt a touch of shame after exploring your body? These feelings usually surface when your actions clash with your internal beliefs. Maybe you grew up in a culture that stigmatizes sex, or perhaps your religious views suggest it's something to avoid. Sometimes it's just a deeply ingrained notion that what you're doing is somehow wrong. But here's the truth, there's absolutely nothing to feel guilty about. You deserve to enjoy your own body without guilt or shame. After all, it's a private matter and no one else needs to know. Number 2. A Sexual Strategy While masturbation is usually a solo act, it's closely tied to your experiences with partnered sex and how you feel about those experiences. Psychologists came up with two theories that explain why people use masturbation with partnered sex. Compensatory model and complementary model. If you feel like your partner isn't meeting all of your sexual needs, you might turn to masturbation as a way to fill in the gaps, finding satisfaction where they fall short. This is a compensatory model, since you compensate for the lack of satisfaction. On the flip side, the complementary model states that even if your partner is a rock star in bed, masturbation can still play a role, this time as an enhancer. It can add an extra layer of fun and pleasure to an already great sex life, making the experience even more satisfying. Number 3. Worlds Apart one scenario where masturbation might become your go-to for satisfaction is when sexual incompatibility comes into play. This happens when you and your partner just aren't aligned in the bedroom. Maybe your kinks don't quite match, you prefer different positions, or your ideas about foreplay and aftercare are miles apart. Research suggests that sexual incompatibility is a common reason why some people turn to solo play instead of partnering up. After all, you're the one who knows your body best, so when your desires aren't fully met, masturbation becomes a reliable way to bridge that gap and find the pleasure that you crave. Apart from sexual compatibility, people choose to masturbate for a variety of different reasons, despite pure pleasure, such as imagining their sexual fantasies, out of compulsion, or even to avoid risky sexual activities in which they'd engage if it wasn't for solo sessions. Number 4. Single and ready to mingle whether you're using masturbation to fill the gaps in your sexual life or to boost your pleasure, it can play a significant role in your overall sexual satisfaction. But do you necessarily need to be in a relationship to experience this satisfaction? Research suggests that singles might actually benefit more from masturbation than those in relationships. Studies have shown that single women who masturbate regularly often experience more intense orgasms. And according to one study, women usually masturbate two to three times per week. Single men who often masturbate report improved erectile function, and those who ejaculate around 21 times per month or more are less likely to develop prostate cancer. This means that even if you're flying solo, you can still enjoy a fulfilling sexual life and also gain some health benefits. Sometimes it's just about enjoying the company of me, myself, and I. Number five, finding relief in crisis. In addition to its effects on emotions, relationships, and sexual pleasure, masturbation is also a powerful stress relief strategy. It can help you unwind from everyday pressures and serve as a coping mechanism during particularly stressful times. 
For example, research from the COVID-19 lockdown revealed that many people turned to masturbation to manage the anxiety and stress that built up during the pandemic. Out of more than 2,000 participants from the study, 17% used some form of sexual behavior as a coping strategy, with masturbation being the most frequent one. Besides being a natural way to alleviate stress, masturbation can also relieve pain and stimulate the release of happiness-inducing hormones in the brain. If you're interested in exploring how masturbation affects the brain, check out this video for more insights. Number 6. The Toolbox Recently, masturbation has gained recognition as a valuable tool in sexual therapy. Sex therapists may suggest it as a remedy for conditions like hyposexual desire disorder, the lack of sexual interest and desire to engage in sexual activity. Masturbation can help in this case because it allows people to explore what feels good without the pressure of pleasing a partner, helping to reduce anxiety about sex. It can change negative feelings about sex by creating positive, relaxed experiences. For those with low sexual desire, it can be a gentle way to reconnect with sexual pleasure and gradually increase interest in sex with a partner. Not only that, many sex educators and self-help resources also advocate for masturbation as a means to explore and understand your own body, identifying what brings pleasure and what doesn't. This self-discovery not only enhances your personal experience, but also improves communication with your partner. Once you know what you enjoy, it's easier to express your desires and preferences, leading to a more fulfilling sexual connection with someone else. Did you resonate with any of these points? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We hope this video gave you some new perspective on how masturbation can enrich your personal and sexual life. Remember, understanding and accepting these aspects of yourself can be freeing and empowering. If you have some more questions about this topic, please don't hesitate to ask. We'll give our best to help you understand your sexuality and hopefully destigmatize this important topic. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.